Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop and in furtherance of our shop discussions around the water cooler, a fella called bullshit on me that I had heated the upper part of the threads on account of it being a different color. He could see it turning white. Well, partner, if you have a dark substrate over top of a lighter colored material, when you stretch it out, it's going to look a little bit lighter. That's just science, or as they pronounce it nowadays, silence. And there's also powdered schmoo. Focus, you fuck. From the zinc of the washers. You see that? We can wipe that. I don't blame the fella. I, I too have succumbed to curiosity, killed the cat, and clicked on that link for the movie where Thrust and Turdo is making a romantic breakfast for his wife and her boyfriend. <laughs> but hey, if you can't make fun of your own homegrown tin pot dictator, who can you make fun of? Also, I kid, I kid. It's ex-wife and his boyfriend. With an old creepy father like that, can you blame the kid? Any attention is good attention. And hey, some of us have a penchant for weird, creepy old dudes named Klaus. <laughs> it schwabs the makeup on or else it gets the honking again. Finally, in deference to longtime commenter and well considered discourser, Matt's Awesome Sauce, he suggested Matt's Awesome makes awesome things, makes you know who you are. Uh, recently pissed him off and I, I owe him one. We uh, different sides of the same coin. We're, we're agreeing to disagree on all this nonsense, what's going on. That's the thing. When you're a grown up, you can agree to disagree, and it ain't no big deal because opinions are like assholes. Everybody is one. <laughs> We're going to weld in this bolt and take one of these Hyana box ends to its natural conclusion on account of chances are you're not just going to be pulling on these nice, gentle-like. You're going to be reefing on one of these like a, a monkey at the zoo, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Unfortunately, some fucking Karen on patrol keeps throwing out all my perfectly fine stretched out fasteners, so just uh, just mind your tongue there and close your eyes and we'll get her done lickety split. Not a stud in sight. And not to worry. Nobody will know the difference. Once you're past the stink, she's good eating. Oh, that's, <laughs> that is quite chewy. <laughs> Ever so gently with the ugga dugga. Eh, not my finest work, but it's not easy trying to rhyme former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien with residential schools. Hey Pierre, you done yet? I'm loath to do it, but you gotta piss with the cock you got. Craftsman, made in USA, town, Guangzhou, PRC. Tap, tap, tap. It's still good. It's still good. Just tilt your head to the side if you want to see that gauge. Oh, we can backlight it too. Uh, really help anything, did it? How's that? There you go. Jesus. We'll just slide under here, under these blankets. Nobody here but us chickens. Wasn't sketchy at all. We can see we buggered up the head of the fastener. The weak point is clearly, well, those welds 
but the box end of the wrench. The welds survived because I christened them properly. Shield. Holy old fuck. That's incredible. We're almost at max torque. That's fucking incredible. 10,000 pissies. Oh, that gauge is now fucked. Whoopsie. Well, clearly the six point is Far stronger than the 12 point. Sad to say the same can't be the same for my tail end. I gotta go change my britches. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a bite. It occurs to me, and I don't mean to be boastful, but this happens a lot. We might have bottomed out on the travel. That is, we, we stroked out. I took another bite, and we'll have another go. Two thousand psi, two thousand twenty-three hundred according to the pump. Three thousand. That's a hell of a lot of torque. Four thousand. Holy shit! Light. Oh, I don't like this. Ooh. Yeah, we bottomed out. Pierce, we got to about 5,000. We'll review the tape and I'll do the calculations. How much torque you finger it takes to bust a 12 point versus a six point? Go ahead and slide it in my doobly do. Oh wait, is it in yet? <laughs> Lots. This is an RT2 high torque knockoff, a razor, I believe, made in Canada. It's got uh, 2,000 foot-pounds max torque U at 10,000 PSI, so divide that. It's actually, according to the note I made on here, 0.1928 foot-pounds per PSI. Ergo, the six-point is 880 foot-pounds it self-destructed at, and the 12-point, 636. I do not believe that is a function of the 12 point versus the six point. I think it's the amount of meat there. In the name of science, we confoculated these here wrenches, the science of bumblefuckery, mind. And because of the countenance of her, I assumed that the proto six point box end was girthier. But I got my machinist approximators here 114 thou the metric types 2.91 at the root of the brooch and this one is actually bigger the craftsman's actually bigger there's more meat on the craftsman what's that mean that means we have a substantive difference in strength due to the quality of the manufacturing and the initial steel. Better steel, more stronger. Who to thunk it? Now, as someone who's pulled a wrench or two in the privacy of my own pit of despair under a tractor, it comes as no surprise that the Proto is a better wrench than the Craftsman. But that, that tells us we got some interesting experiments coming up because we can get all kind of expensive wrenches versus cheap wrenches and see 
Which one lasts the longest?